Hello guys, uh, welcome to the continuation of uh, Python tutorial on uh, writing perceptron machine learning algorithm. So in our last tutorial, we wrote the uh, class for the perceptron machine learning algorithm. So in this tutorial, we're going to like import the iris data set uh, from the website, from, from the internet. So what is this data set is all about is, uh, they have these uh, four different labels. Uh, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. So based on that, uh, they've classified the flower into uh, setosa, versicolor, virginica. So uh, what we are going to do in this tutorial is we are going to like import the data from the internet and see how the data looks, and then we are going to plot the data using matplotlib. So this is the code that we wrote in our last tutorial. So we just comment this code. We need this later when we do machine learning. So we comment this for now. And then uh, we go ahead and import uh, pandas, matplotlib. We have numpy import pandas. S P D import matplotlib dot pi plot dot pi plot s p l um, and then let's write let's start a code from here. So we're gonna create a pandas data from df equals pd dot read. So we're gonna read the in data from the internet, which is available in the internet in CSV format. So we're gonna use the CSV read CSV method to pass the data. So here is the link. I'll post this link in the description of this video. So you could use this link. And then paste over here. So that's the first argument. The second argument we're going to tell it header equals none so let's print this out and see how it looks df save run okay so we have a total 150 rows and 5 column as I've said, the first one is uh, sepal, sepal length width, petal length width, sepal length, sepal length width, petal length width, and the label. Label it tells you if it is this much, if the sepal length is 5.1, width is 3.5, and petal length is 1.4, and width 0.2. It's iris setosa. Like that, we have setosa, versicolor, and virginica. So this is a truncated data. Don't worry if it shows like this. So, but you actually have uh, 150 rows of data of setosa, virgi virginica, and versicolor. Now we see what the data is. So now actually we extracted the data from the internet. Then y equals df dot I look. So zero two hundred comma four dot values. So what this thing gonna do is 
it's gonna the first one refers to row and the second one refers to column so 0 to 100 refers to from 0 till 100 in the row and then fourth column fourth column it's going to take from 0 to 100 it's going to take fourth column and it's going to convert that into values let's print that out and see what that is so we don't need this anymore so let's get rid of this one save right click run So it's all values, Setosa, Versicolor, so just have two, Setosa and Versicolor. Now, Again, y equals np dot where the above y equals iris setosa comma minus one comma one. So if it is iris setosa, y will be minus 1. If not, it's going to be 1. So save this and print out and see. So the first one is all iris setosa. So once this code is executed, it's all going to be minus 1. And the rest, all versicular is going to be 1. So that's what this code is going to do. So let's go ahead and execute this code and see what it does. So now all setosa, iris setosa has been converted to minus 1 according to this code because of this code and the all versicle has been converted to 1. Then x equals df dot i log 0 to 100 comma 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 dot values so what this is going to do is it's going to get the data from the data frame and it's going to take rows from 0 to 100 and it's going to take uh, the first one refers to row and the second one refers to column. So in this column it's going to take 0 and 2 and it's going to convert that as an array. That's what the value means. If you So let's uh, print this out and see and what's the difference between dot values and without dot values. Save, right click, run. So it has taken uh, data in column 0 and column 2 for the rows from 0 to 100 so if we get rid of these values it won't be an array so that's what it does it's just like a table it's just like a table of data with uh, index a row index and this is column index okay second column 0 column 2 from 0 to 100 so actually from 0 to 100 which is actually 99 1 to 100 so now we extracted that data and stored it in uh, x now we are going to do a uh, scatter plot so we already imported matplotlib.pyplot as pel 
So now we use that to <coughs> sorry plot the data. PL dot scatter x. It means uh, I think it means all the values in, in the rows and f first 50 in the column f 50 comma 0 and then comma x no row and the f uh, zeroth column first 50 rows and 0th column and uh, in this we are going to take first 50 rows again